Hey, you guys, thanks for listening in to this episode of Tips with Tea on today. I have Miss Monica with us. Hey, Miss Monica, how are you doing today? Hey, good. Thank you. Thank you so much for being a guest on the show today. So tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you do. Yeah, so I'm Monica Cox. I'm founder of Finding Fertility. I help women become the conscious mamas they were always born to be. Um, we really get down to the root cause of any fertility issues that may be happening. And this includes the physical, the mental, and the emotional aspects. Um, it is not just eat a perfect diet and things will be okay sometimes, right? We really want to get down to the root cause. Awesome. So I'm glad we're on, you're on the show today because we're going to talk about some of those things. So what role does our subconscious mind play in our lives? Because a lot of people don't think our subconscious mind play a role, but it really does. Uh, your subconscious mind is the driver. It is mm -hmm. the chief poncho. It is the thing that controls everything you do physically, mentally, and emotionally. And the reason we don't, um, you know, we don't understand this or we don't know this is we haven't been taught it, right? This this isn't, a, you know, no education on this. You know, our parents didn't really know this. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I think our generation is sat there going, why am I the way I am? I know I had it much better than my parents did, my grandparents, like what is going on? Mm -hmm. And it is the subconscious programming basically that we um, had through our childhoods and even through epigenetics. Um, you know, we, most of us never met, met our great, great grandparents, but their experience really set, um, set us up, right? As long as your parents didn't, uh, change anything, which most of ours didn't. Um, so our subconscious mind is, um, key to, um, everything that we do in life. Yeah, it really is. Um, and I try to tell people that so we can try to change our mindset. Um, so how can we change our mindset to, to get to the root of like hardships to avoid the unhealthy cycles? Well, first you have to have radical responsibility. You've got to admit to yourself that you're tired of your own BS and you're ready to make some big changes, right? <laughs> you first have to admit that. Um, and once you're uh, ready and willing to do those things, it's... Um, really being honest of like, what do you want to tackle first? Like what area of your life is causing you the most hardship? And I would say, you know, most people think it's money, mm -hmm. right? Like I don't have enough money. Mm -hmm. I need more money in my life. Mm -hmm. And the truth is it's more money is just related to your worthiness, you know, your self worthiness, right? How you feel about your worth, mm -hmm. how about, and how you feel about your self love, Right. Um, so one of the best things, and this is what I did in my fertility journey, and I didn't realize what I was doing, but I changed one word. And that was when I get pregnant, not if I get pregnant. Mm -hmm. So really easy thing is that if you can catch yourself anytime you say, I don't have enough money, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of saying that out loud or in your head, um, you can say, I have an overflow of money. Mm hmm. And the fact of the matter is, is that you are going to live in two realities at one time, your almost physical reality where you don't have what you want yet. So for me, it was a pregnancy. I sat there for years, not getting pregnant, not having my baby, but in my subconscious mind, I was, I have this, mm -hmm. I'm going to have this, mm -hmm. this is mine already. Mm -hmm. I'm worthy of this. Mm -hmm. And so it's really just, um, starting off slow changing up those little words that you catch yourself saying and being consistent. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. So what do you think be holding us back when it comes to that, um, our mindset? And how can we stop trying to hold ourselves back when it comes to our mindset, when it comes to certain things? Yeah, I mean, the reason why you're held back is because of that programming you got in your community. 
right? It doesn't have anything to do with your necessarily your gender, your race, your religion. It's the community that you grew up in. Mm -hmm. And what were they saying around you, you know, from the moment before you were born to about seven, eight, that's like the real kind of deep programming. Because when you're a child, you're a sponge. And this is why children believe in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy, right? Like they're just They'll just believe whatever you say to them, and that becomes their reality. Mm -hmm. um, so really look around your community, who you're hanging out with, what your family and friends are saying, and see if that aligns with your values or where you want to be in the future, who mm -hmm. you want to be. And so once you recognize that, um, you can understand that there are some, you know, reprogramming that you need to do. Mm -hmm. For some people, it's going to be really easy. It is just going to be some affirmations and some meditations and maybe, you know, walks outside. Mm -hmm. For other people who have deep trauma or long lineage of family members who have been entrenched in this stuff for a long time, you're going to have to go a little bit deeper. You're going to maybe need to do some, you know, um, childhood healing mm -hmm. or, you know, like they call it inner child work or shadow work. Mm -hmm. um, but you got to find a modality that really is in tune with who you are and what you what you vibe with, right? Like mm -hmm. not everyone can go sit on a pillow for 20 minutes, yeah. right? So really find those modalities that work for you. I know the best modalities that I've seen be super successful are ones that get to the emotional root yeah. of what is going on. So emotional freedom, tapping, psych K. I know um, I haven't done it personally myself, but like hypnosis, mm -hmm. um, talk therapy can be great, but it's most of the time it's not um, changing the subconscious mind. You're literally just you know, talking to your best friend right on the couch. Mm -hmm. um, so find those modalities. Be very graceful for yourself, right? These are patterns that you've been looping for decades. So it's not like it's gonna, you're gonna do one session with a coach or maybe a few breathwork sessions off of YouTube and your whole life is gonna be radically changed. It, just, it doesn't work that way for most people. Um, and you gotta look at, look at it as an onion layer too, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to peel back the first layer. And for most people, there's going to be 20 layers behind that. And just be consistent and keep going and give yourself grace. You're going to have some down days and mm -hmm. then you're going to have really up days. And what I've experienced with myself and my clients is the up days, um, they just, they come a lot more than the mm -hmm. down days. Yeah. And you're able to get through those down days um, with a little bit more grace and you don't stay down as long. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned those things. Cause like with me, it was a mixture of things trying to get to the root of, you know, learning untoxic behavior that I've been taught for a child. So with me, it was actually learning my family history, learning about where they came from, learning about what they endured, um, and actually me going to therapy, um, to talking some of those things out and you know some therapists um my therapist is really good I will say that that a therapy I had before when I was in college he just like you said just sat there and let me listen like he just sat there and listen just let me talk but he didn't give me any type of solutions um so I found a therapist and I found a life coach that actually tried to give me solutions that actually gave me the tips that I need to do the homework so I can go back and unlearn toxic behavior so I can go back and reconstruct your boundaries so I'm glad you said it was a mixture and they also teach me too, like okay well Tierra try positive affirmations um do you walk do you do something in nature to help you um too as well so you won't feel like you're just overwhelmed with you just trying to break these generational curses or break these generational cycles so find something else too that you can take pleasure in that will also help your development too as well so I'm glad you said it can be a mixture of things yeah, absolutely. And the important thing to rem uh, remember here is this is all subconscious stuff. And the subconscious really is spiritual or, you mm -hmm. know, religion, whatever you connect with, that is your soul, that's your spirit, that's God universe, but you're still a physical being on a physical earth, you have to play the physical game. So even let's say that God came down to you, or you had this healer, and they're like, you are blessed, you are healed you still have to go out into the world and act like that healed person mm -hmm. and do the things the healed person does. Mm -hmm. Like you say, 
go out for a walk, you know, uh, rest, recover, Mm -hmm. not be like most of us women are these crazy type A's and like, do, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Um, But sometimes it's hard. You just got to be. And you're like, okay, is it okay for me to sit down and read a book? Is it okay for me to (laughs) take time off? Mm -hmm. Like, yes, it is because that's who I want to be. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. Uh, So how can we change our mindset too when it comes to um balancing and staying committed to our family and business because I know women it's kind of hard for us to do that because we have um both family or we're mothers and then we have our own businesses so how can we um change our mindset so we can be more balanced and committed yeah so you can't pour from an empty cup Mm -hmm. so I would definitely say you gotta start with yourself Mm -hmm. right? You've got to be able to handle the triggers. And that's what I found as a mother. I didn't really start doing this work until my kids started triggering me. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So you, you got to go forward with yourself first. Mm -hmm. Um, and whatever that looks like setting boundaries, um, with, you know, your parents, you know, your aunties, your uncles, even with your kids, like, no, this is mommy's time. This is my time to do Mm -hmm. the things that I know is going to help me. Because when it comes to me being in your presence, and you do something that triggers me, because it's all within you, right? They're not going to change, you can't change them. I mean, obviously, your kids, maybe you can help with behavioral things. But um, so if you want to have these relationships in your life and keep them in your life, You have to change the way you react to them. Mm -hmm. And that all starts within you. Mm -hmm. So once again, it's finding those modalities that are going to help you with those triggers. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you, Miss Monica, so much for being a guest on the show today and just sharing us. I'm sharing with us about how to change our mindset. Um, I'm going to share your social media handles. Tell our listeners how they can get in contact with you if they would like to surrender any of your services yeah so i'm at finding fertility everywhere instagram tiktok facebook youtube (laughs) linkedin the podcast and the website so i'm pretty available everywhere and uh, pretty social as well awesome and all right guys if you need to get in contact with me feel free to do so. My number is 910-317-0396. You can also shoot me an email at at contact at mjfinancial.biz. You can visit the website at www.mjfinancial.biz and you can find this episode on Anchor, you guys. And you can also find the video on the YouTube channel as well for MJ Financial Management. So thank you once again, Ms. Monica, for being a guest on the show. I highly appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much for having me. And all right, you guys, we will see you on the next episode of Tips with Tea.